Luke chapter 7, I want to begin reading with you at verse 11 this morning. As always, thank you for joining me. Now, listen to this. Verse 11 says, Soon afterwards he went to a city called Nain, and his disciples were going along with him, accompanied by a large crowd. Now, as he approached the gate of the city, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A sizable crowd from the city was with her, and when the Lord saw her, he felt compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came up and touched the coffin, and the bearers came to a halt. And he said, young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man set up again to speak, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. Fear gripped them all, and they began glorifying God, saying, a great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. This report concerning him went all over Judea and all the surrounding district. God has visited his people. Does Jesus care? We sing that song. I love that song. You know, here we have a widow, and she's burying her only son. Some of you have buried your children. I can't imagine the pain that comes with that. Unimaginable, unnatural, we might even say. No way to prepare for something like that. I hope that we're struck here. God come in flesh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He sees this woman bearing her only son, a widow. And the Bible just simply says he felt compassion. He felt for her. He cared. And he healed her son. I take great comfort in that. Not to say that Jesus is going to intervene and, and heal one of my children. I was to bury them. That, that, that's not the point. But what is the point is that I serve a Lord and Savior, a risen Savior, one who came to this earth and died on the cross for me, for my sins and for your sins alike. And he cares. He cares enough to act in my best interest. And I'm thankful for that. And I take great comfort in that. And I hope you do as well. Would you pray with me, please? Our Father in heaven, Father, we're so thankful for this day and all our many blessings. Father, for your son, a sympathizing, caring high priest. Father, we are so very thankful. Father, we know that you care, that your son cares. And what a blessing that is to us, your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.